Para Mahamsa Nityananda es una encarnación viviente excepcional, un yogi de nacimiento que ha expresado sus poderes como ser iluminado desde que nació. Para Mahamsa Nityananda ha sido nombrado una de las 100 personalidades de más influencia espiritual por la revista esotérica más antigua del mundo, Body, Mind, Spirit. Es el autor de más de 500 libros en tamil e inglés, libros en Telegu, Kanada, Malayala, Hindi, Sánscrito, Gujarati, Orilla, Bengalí, Marathi, francés, malayo, polaco, portugués, italiano, alemán, danés, español, ruso y chino, con traducciones disponibles en 26 idiomas. Es también un orador ejemplar sobre profundas soluciones de vida a través de sus 8.000 horas de discursos. Servicios sociales como la Nadan a 10.000 personas, servicios médicos gratuitos a 10.000 personas a la semana, servicios de educación gratuita a 10.000 personas al mes, ashrams, escuelas, templos, hospitales, establecidos en más de 140 países alrededor del mundo, ofrecen servicios excepcionales. Un sanador espiritual poderoso que ha curado a millones de personas de enfermedades que van desde la migraña hasta el cáncer. Un Kriya Yogi que ha formulado Kriyas para la salud física y el bienestar mental, beneficiando a miles de personas. Un maestro contemporáneo que ofrece soluciones prácticas para nuestros problemas cotidianos. Con centros de meditación en 151 países, incluyendo Birdi, Tiruvaramalai, Rayapalayam, Salem, Hyderabad, Varanasi, Los Ángeles, Ohio, Seattle, San José y Phoenix, es el fundador y cabeza espiritual de Nityananda Diana Pitam. Un gurú espiritual con 10 millones de seguidores. Una encarnación que transmite la más elevada energía espiritual a través de la iniciación. Un yogi contemporáneo que ha revivido a nivel mundial la ciencia védica y el yoga a través de miles de centros de yoga. Adepto a las Tamahasiri, los poderes místicos yógicos, ha hecho despertar sin esfuerzo la energía kundalini a miles de personas, agraciándolas con poderes espirituales. Un generador de energía espiritual que ha revivido la sagrada tradición védica, a través del establecimiento de templos védicos en todo el mundo. Los Ángeles, San José, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, San Luis, Malasia, Brasil, París, Guadalupe, Dallas, Nueva York, Nueva Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapur y en lugares como Bangalore, Hyderabad y Tiruvannamalai en la India. Un gurú joven y dinámico que es una inspiración para miles de jóvenes. El gurú de la India más visto por Internet. Un faro de luz espiritual que ha triunfado sobre las fuerzas del terrorismo religioso y de la persecución política. Para Mahamsa Nityananda es un calpataru eterno, bendiciendo al mundo con el regalo de la abundancia material y de la iluminación espiritual. explain exactly what is karma su kauchalam please understand the solidified emotion it may be matrubhava or Sakabhava or Dasabhava, 
బాత్సల్యభావ ఆర్ మధురభావ ఆర్ మహాభావ ద సొలిడిఫైడ్ ఎమోషన్ ఈస్ భావ సమాధి బట్ దెన్ దట్ సొలిడిఫైడ్ ఎమోషన్ ఈస్ నో మోర్ సపరేట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ becomes part of your very existence consciousness that is what i call karmasu kauchalam means see what is solidified emotion if you are in bhava samadhi means you will see everything as devi if you are in bhava samadhi with krishna you will see everything as krishna so much of sweetness will be there by the remembrance of krishna when that sweetness becomes part of your action without even remembering krishna just by your action if you are going through that same intense sweetness that is what is called karma su kauchalam efficiency in action efficiency in action means never being tired of action any action which makes you tired will make you old will bring you disease your action when it does not make you tired when it goes on inspiring you for more and more and more then you reach the space yoga karma su kauchala i have decided i will continue to make this spelling mistake i am not going to pronounce it this as a kauchala i'll call it as kauchala only let it become a, my own accent this is the way i'll remember this powerful initiation that word has hit me like anything unfortunately if i did not have that initiation at that moment of course always divine supports you brings you the proper intelligence and proper time if i did not had if i had not had that initiation i would have been just sitting in my bhava samadhi what is called the solidified solidified emotion the big problem with the solidified emotion is you can spend any number of years with it and finally you can lose it also you will not go forward but once that yoga ha karma su kauchalam that happens it becomes sagaja samadhi unless you show efficiency in action perfection in action the emotion you are going through the bhava samadhi you are going through will not become part of you bhava samadhi you go through will become part of you only when you take responsibility only when you bring perfection in action joy in action this question is from richa from bangalore swami ji can you please explain what you mean by efficiency richa efficiency means efficiency efficiency means the action should have its effect on outer world and the inner world it should be like a double edged sword the action should be creating desired result outside and desired result inside that is what i mean by the word efficiency if i have to give an example morning you get up and do yoga 
the action of doing yoga should create the desired result in the outer world, means the body becoming healthy. And same way it should create the desired result in the inner world, creating a positive pattern or a positive mental setup, which is purpose of yoga. So all action, same way, if you are creating a relationship, it should create the friendly relationship and it should bring the happiness and fulfillment which you are supposed to have in your inner space through that relationship. So efficiency means the effect of action in the outer world and in the inner world. Unfortunately, whole humanity is established in laziness. I am telling you the truth. By sitting in satsang, two things need to be achieved. One, you need to sit in such a comfortable position in the outer world. Another, you are supposed to be in a state which nowhere nobody disturbs. No words are touching you. Nothing touches you. You are in, beautifully in that peaceful awareness. What you call as your own Sagaja Samadhi being established in laziness. The next question is from uh, Akshay Shukla as well as from Jean from Dallas, Texas. Isn't perfection measured by the result of the action? Doesn't that make us focus on the result? Ajay Shukla, perfection is not measured by the result of the action. It measured by the way you are Acting. Understand? The quality of the action, not the quantity of the action, not the quantity which happens because of your action, but the quality of your action. Only when the quality is not there, you will have time to measure the quantity of the action. So perfection is not measured by the result of the action. It is measured by the quality of the action. But I tell you, when the quality is there, the quantity also will follow, even though you don't bother about it. It's like you walk without bothering about the shadow, but the shadow follows you. Same way, in the quality, in the kaushalam, in the efficiency, you walk and it follows. The quality, quantity also follows you. Next, let you all achieve, experience, live, express, Radiate and share the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you. Purve Sharanam Sharanam Nitya Purve Sharanam Sharanam Welcome to Inner Awakening the most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience. In just 21 days, thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels, visible anti-aging, healing of chronic diseases, fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness. What is the secret behind this transformation? Kundalini means the inner potential energy. Once it is awakened, opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you. I can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experiences. This extraordinary program is conducted personally by Paramahamsa Nityananda 
in the vibrant atmosphere of Nityananda Dhyanapitam Ashram. Open yourself to the benefits of Nitya Yoga and practical meditation. Experience physical and mental healing. Discover simple ways to handle life with success. Above all, enjoy individual darshan and blessings from Paramahamsa Nityananda every day. Take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime.